find weightlessness in their minds. For winds can never carry a rock, not even a diamond of splendid shine. So let go of your heaviness and rise to a light sublime. I'm here for my fellow angels whose lives are tale divine. We'll regain the sky's forgiveness and fly amongst our kind, but we'll remain a slight bit different. Because we'll have felt the pains of mankind and we'll look down with compassion and maybe come back from time to time to bring the others a few lessons on how to live a life refined to the purest form of passion. How to rise above the demands of all the world's obsessions. How to find peace and align with the words of the greatest wordsmiths to understand the divine truth in God's greatest confession that humans are better than angels. For they were designed to withstand agony and still come out enlightened. And that's what's amazing about us. That's what makes us the envy of every Nephilim. For our resilience is without boundary. The melody of the memory of our melancholy can be heard in the songs that we paint, in the paintings that we sing, in the sculptures that we dance, and the dances that we sculpt, in the poems that we dream, and the dreams that we write, in the sketches that we beat, and the drums that we draw, in the citadels we blew, and the trumpets we built, in the cities that we drank, and the villages we spilt, in the pyramids we grew, and the skyscrapers we planted, in all the mantras that we cast, and the spells that we chanted, in the vehicles that we flew, and the airplanes in our traffic, in the killing of the Jews, and the rising of a prophet, and the companies we sued, and the consequence of profit in everything that we do is a concentrated effort to find the divine truth that all of us are angels, from murderer to mystic 